Hi everyone and welcome to another video. So in today's video, we will see why tables in Excel are so important and how they make your data analysis so convenient. So without wasting any time, let's get started. What I have here is a sample data about car brands, models, their year, color price and fuel type. One thing to notice is that working with structured data is really important when you are doing any sort of data analysis. And when it comes to Excel, you may have multiple types of data sets. Uh, you know, your data may not be organized. It may be organized, but you know, you may be finding it difficult to make sense out of it. And let's say you insert a lot of data within your data set every now and then and it gets tedious for you to make changes uh, multiple times. So that's where tables come into picture. And I'll show you what are the benefits of using table, how you create a table, and how can you revert back to your original data set once you are done working on a table. So what we will do here is, we'll try to create a table from this particular data set. So there are different methods to that. One of the method is you keep your cursor on the data and then press Ctrl T on your Windows system or Command T on a MacBook. And then this pop-up comes up, which asks you if you have a header. So you can just tick this box. My table has headers because I have headers here. And I'll click on OK. And there you go. Your table is now created. All right. So once the table is created, you will see a new tab that is table design appearing here and you will have multiple table styles appearing where you can choose any style of your preference. All right, so I'll keep this style for now. Another way to create a table, let me just undo this. Another way to create a table is you can go to the home tab and click on format as table, or you can go to the insert tab and select the table icon that is available here and just click on okay. The table is created now. Another important feature of a table is once you have a table created and you have your cursor somewhere on the data and you scroll down slowly, you will notice that the headers will still appear for you as long as you are within the data. Now, if you click outside the data, uh, you will not be seeing the headers. So make sure that your cursor is inside the data and then you scroll that way your headers come up here. One very important feature of a table is the formula spill down. For example, let me go ahead and apply a formula here. So what I want to do is I want to have a new column where I see the brand and the model together separated by a space. For that, I can use uh, concatenate or if not concatenate, uh, you can use uh, something called as text join. I'll probably do a short video on text join uh, sometime later but just to show you how tables function, uh, it's asking for a de delimiter. So let me just put in a space. And the first text is brand and the second text is model. So I've selected this and close the brackets, click on enter and there you go. So you noticed one thing. I just typed in the formula in the very uh, first row under column one. And rest of this, rest of the data is autofilled. I didn't have to manually type or, you know, didn't have to autofill it manually. So that's one big advantage of working with tables. Your formula spills down automatically. And one thing you would notice is in the formulas, you will have your table name also appearing here. So in case you don't want a random table name to appear, you can go to table design and you have an option to change the table name. So I'll just name name the table as car models, let's say. Press enter and there you go. In your formulas as well, your table name is successfully updated. Now, another important feature of uh, working with tables is, let's say there is a new entry within your table. So I'm going to insert a new cell, all right? So I've inserted a new cell. And let's say a random data is being entered here. And I'm going to enter Let's say Chevrolet and 
probably Silverado 2. Yeah. So you notice one thing, the, the column I, which is, you know, the concatenated column where we have applied the formula, gets auto applied. The formula gets auto applied here, even though you are inserting a new cell. If you are working with a normal range, a normal range of values here, this will not function like this. Just because this is a table, you are able to work with this in, in such a manner. All right. And the moment you delete that uh, input, it goes back to its normal shape. And you can also uh, resize your uh, table. So there are two ways you can do it. You can go to table design and click on resize table and it will ask you to update the range. This is one way or else you can just, uh, you know, click on this particular icon on the corner and drag it to the left or to the right if you want to extend or decrease the length of your tables. All right. So this is how you work with tables. And one last thing before we close is how to convert it back to a normal range. What you can do is just click somewhere on the data, go to table design and just click on convert to range. This will give you a pop-up whether you want to convert it into a normal range. Click on yes and there you go. This is no longer a table because you can see the filters have uh, gone automatically. If you want to make it a table again, all you need to do is click on insert, go to table or just press the shortcut that is control T on Windows and command T on an Apple system. All right. I hope this was helpful. And uh, if you really enjoyed the video, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you are yet to subscribe to the channel, please click on the subscribe button. And if there are any comments, please let me know in the comments tab. Thank you and see you with another video next week.